to my very first public video on YouTube. It's very exciting. Um, if you're just stumbling upon this video, thank you if you are one of the ones that have followed me for the last year and a half or however long at SGU. Thank you as well. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests to do a how to annotate USMLE video. It's something that a lot of people suggested that I do when I started off in school and I didn't know how to do it and I didn't um, really utilize it at all until my last semester when I started using it as my hub of information and started annotating it and absolutely loved it. And you know, when I was going back, when I was doing reviews and when I was tutoring, I realized how I would could have benefited in all of my completed semesters if I had gone ahead and annotated first aid. And so I started recommending it, And but like me, people didn't really know what to do, didn't really know what to start. And so they, I got a lot of requests to do this video. So this is my how to annotate USMLE first aid for the basic sciences. How I use the resource, what I kind of see it as, you know, like any supplemental resource, it's a supplement to whatever you're doing in class to whatever material is being presented to you. And it should not be your primary source. It should not be the only thing you look at, but it's definitely something that can enhance your studying and enhance your um, understanding of the material. Some of the things that I really love about first aid are its organization. Um, if you've followed me over my reviews, you know that I love organization. I'm really meticulous about my organization. And so first aid is organized the way my brain likes to go through the topics. And so it works really well for me. And then just the way it organizes the different pathologies um, the way it flow, the information flows, I have really come to love it. I've really come to utilize it as kind of my hub of where everything goes. And this is my, um, where I reference for a lot of stuff. So this is my USMLE first aid book. You'll notice it does not look like what it will come to you as if you order it off of Amazon or Barnes and Noble or wherever you like to buy your books and medical supplies. Um, I went to FedEx and I got it beast lined and three hole punch. Why did I do this so that I can add information in here if I want? Um, I also bought little colorful tabs and I labeled each of the individual sections just to make it easy on me to go to whatever chapter I was working on in that moment. Some supplies. Um, these are my favorite highlighters right now. I'm kind of obsessed with these. These are very pastel I think I just made up that word. Um, but I like these because they're easy on the eyes and they don't bleed very much. It's really important. These pages are really thin and so you don't want anything that's going to bleed through really badly. Um, and so I really like these. They come in um, multiple colors, but that's my favorite highlighter. I also have some um, just Sharpie brand like highlighter pens that I use. Um, I use these more in my notes taking, but if I want to, these are really good if you like want to write something um, versus just highlighting it or maybe on a graph or something. I don't know, however you want to utilize them. I really like them. Um, pens, I am a big girl. I really love these pens. Um, but again, as long as it doesn't bleed through, like a ballpoint pen probably wouldn't be very good because it would be really rough on the pages and it would bleed through really easily. So again, these pages are really thin, so just keep that in mind with whatever um, supplies you utilize to annotate. I also really love clips um, reorganization. I'm really meticulous about my organization, so if I just want to like section off a piece of information or if I'm flipping back and forth and I need to like reference two things, um, I use these. So essentially, however you like to organize, however you like to like, you know, your little things. That's just one of my things. I like have tons of clips and paper clips and that's just me, but I love doing that. So before I get into exactly how I annotate during lectures or watching a supplemental video, um, there are a couple sections in first aid that I really adore that I didn't find until I was like trying to go through and you know find pieces of information and I just happened to stumble upon this section. The very back is like a rapid review section. This has some really great 
topic. Um, just condensed, rapid information to refer to. It has, um, it has classic presentations, which is one of my favorite things. You know, when I'm studying, when I'm going through material, I love to try to predict questions. I love to make up questions. I love to try, you know, use the presentation, use the labs, use the vital signs and make up my own vignette to say, okay, this is how it could be presented. This is how it could be tested. And the classic presentations are fantastic because it boils it down to, this is what you're gonna see clinically. And I love this section when I'm studying. There's also a key associations section where, um, you know, you can match up different drugs with different, you know, drugs of choice for whatever the pathology is, whatever the condition is. There's also an equation review at the back of this stuff. A lot of really gold information if you just need to um, flip to something really quick and get a really good um, association or rapid review on anything. So a chapter in first aid for the high yield organ systems is going to start off with embryo, then it goes through the physiology, and then it goes through pathology, and then it will talk about the pharmacology. And so it's a nice little flow through, through the material. It organizes it really well, and the pathology will uh, is a nice organization. So it'll, it has a flow that makes sense. It starts with um, you know, GI. If we're in G, uh, if we're in GI, it'll start with the um, it'll start with the mouth, and then it'll go down the entire system. And so you're essentially following the pathology along the entire um, GI canal. So when I'm sitting in lecture or if I'm watching a video, I have my book open to whatever topic I'm working on, and I'm following along in my book while I'm listening to the content. And if the content is there, if it's included, then I will follow along and I will highlight anything that is emphasized. And so, you know, anything that I feel is high yield or um, they're being emphasized, they're telling me this is what you need to know, this is something that's a hallmark of this, this disease, I'll highlight it. And um, if something someone especially says is, is really important for you, Emily, you know, I'll do it in a special color, just make sure that I know when I flip to that page and I see that color, oh, I need to focus on this particular thing. But I'm following along the information in the First Aid US Emily book. And if there is a piece of information that I need to add, I'll add it. Sometimes that means printing something off and putting it in um, the actual pages. You'll see here that I added in a little chart. I did this chart, um, didn't print this off, but um, just an example of just adding pieces of information in there if you want to condense it or organize it differently, or if you wanted to print something off a lecture slide or high yield notes from one of your supplemental um, resource uh, content videos. But I'll add that in there to um, supplement, to add to whatever is included in the information in USMLE first aid. I'm also like phrasing things, condensing information. Um, if somebody, um, sticky notes all the time for days. <laughs> um, if somebody says something that I feel like needs to be added or if it's a cute little way to remember something like this is, then I will put that in there. And so when I'm done with a lecture, when I'm done with a video that I'm watching, I should have that section of first aid highlighted. Um, I should have it annotated. So writing in any notes that I need, or maybe I'm defining a term that's in there or making an association, making a connection or something in my um, first aid book, that's what I'm doing. And so um, mine get pretty marked up after a video. This also means that when you're reviewing, when you're going back through this information, you should be able to flip to pages and be able to focus on pieces of information, the organization of information, um, how it's going to best jog your memory, how you're going to have that active recall, and how you're going to be able to review this information in one place and be able to see a nice flow through the information. 
I hope this helped in your studying. Thank you so much for dropping by my channel. Thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you have any how-to videos that you want me to do. Um, I have some planned that are very highly requested. Please like and subscribe if that's something you do. I would very much appreciate it. But until next time, happy studying. Thank you.